Leanne Wong, the 19 year old from Overland Park, Kansas. A moment ago, up on balance beam. And in the top five after the opening night, in fourth. She is just a beautiful athlete. One of the best to watch on this event. You see, she broke that connection, so unfortunately that will affect her difficulty score, but minimize the execution deductions that would have been taken. What makes it unique to watch is her posture. She is so straight on the beam. Her arms are in perfect positions on all of her skills, and it really helps her make her beam more effortless looking. Slow connection there. It will be interesting to see if the judges honor that connection. Finishing two and a half twist, and she's all smiles. Man, we could argue about this world championship team till we're blue in the face, but really we can all agree we do not want to be the selection committee this time around. But Leanne Wong, important a moment ago on vault. Yurchenko double full. Little pike down on the landing there, but sells it well. I think it's probably all of those competitions in college. It's called a college stick. Been a really good championship for Leanne Wong in third place going into this final rotation. She'll finish up on uneven bars. Sam, what are we looking for? Well, there's a few things on the uneven bars we keep going back to, and it's the vertical handstand positions. You want to see those crisp lines, amplitude on release moves, how high are they going, good distance away from the bar, and of course, the more you connect those skills, the higher the difficulty score will be. We have to keep connecting those skills, don't we? We have to yeah. keep connecting. Let's see what Leanne does here. There's a crisp line. And nice distance away from the bar on her Jaeger release move. Really difficult release move to the low bar. And we're seeing lots of connections, which does help her D score. That's the difficulty score. And what a complete performance by Leanne Wong. This whole weekend, really. Your coach react right away, too. Excellent. On bars. Doing the gator chomp there. You might know <laughs> a thing or two about that, Terry. Competes for the University of Florida. So many of these gymnasts now competing collegiately, coming back to the elite level. All right, so we're watching bars here. Break it down a little bit, John. Yeah, yeah, Sam, you set me up for this perfectly. You mentioned amplitude. The judges look at how high the release moves are above the bar. Look no further than the best one of the night, Shylise Jones. Look at the height right there, over a meter above the bar. And you got to be almost in the nosebleeds up there to be eye to eye with <laughs> Shylise Jones. I mean, that is textbook, no deduction. They can take up to three tenths. If your hips are closer to the bar right there, which some athletes are, even though it looks perfect, you're going to lose three tenths of a point. At the height of that, to get back from that position to where you actually catch the bar, that's amazing. And, and that's important, too. Sam mentioned it on the Jaeger. You have to be rotated back towards the bar. If you're sitting backwards, your shoulders are back, that's another chance for a deduction. Yeah, and of course, you want a good amount of distance away from the bar to continue your swing, to continue the rhythm. And these athletes make it look too easy. In third going into that rotation, but about a little less than two and a half points behind Shylise Jones. 
before the fourth rotation. Tough to make that up. And even 14 on bars for Leanne Wong. You know, a lot of people question, can athletes go from the NCAA world back into the college world? And Leanne is the perfect example of showing everyone, yes, you can. Very beautifully, very seamlessly, I am impressed. This is trailblazing for the gymnastics world.